Hey, happy Monday, Thursday, happy Holy Thursday, because we're we're confined to the indoors and we can't go to any churches or mass. I'm gonna do the seven visits. I think they call that the Iglesia Visita, the seven visit of churches that uh, traditionally was done in in the past. So we're gonna, because these churches are all closed. I'm gonna drive. I pick seven churches that offers a traditional Latin mass. I'm going to drive by, say a decade of rosary, and I'll just show you just how fortunate it is to, to live in the Chicago area, of all things, because of the availability of the Latin Mass. So we're going to go to stop number one. St. John Vianney. At first stop, we're going to commemorate the, we're going to we're going to commemorate the, the Garden of Gethsemane, the time Jesus spent at the Garden of Gethsemane. Here, we are at our first stop here. This is St. John Vianney in North Lake, Illinois. And a perfect spot here to say a decade of rosary right in front of Our Lady. Well, our neighborly dog there greets us. <laughs> St. Odillo stop number two. This would be of the seven visits. This would be the House of Annas stop. All right, this is stop number two of the seven visits. So of the seven visits, this would be uh, the House of An Annas. The House of Annas. Now St. Odillo's here is in Berwyn, Illinois. Uh, they also have the Latin Mass. They have wonderful priests here, a very uh, orthodox diocesan priest. Uh, next to it is the church, is a school, St. Odell's uh, Elementary School. And one cool thing about this school, I've been here on the weekday masses several times, and all the students here, they go to mass every day before before class, <laughs> which is uh, I've never. Uh, I've never, never really seen that for a grade school, but wonderful church. Stop number two, St. Odillo. All right, so between stops two and three, I just had to pull over and get some snack over here at a place called La Michoacan. If you, if you don't have one of these in your place, who you don't know what you're missing. La Michoacan. So what did I get? I stopped and what do we got here? We got over to the right there. We have uh, mango nada, una bola de mango, and elotes. Ooh, this is going to be good, I guarantee. Well, we're at stop number three. And I don't have to say too much about this church. Check out the uh, the posting I just had about the uh, the number one pick for for uh, Latin Mass streamed live stream Latin Masses. This is St. John Cantus here, here in Chicago. Okay, I'm standing in front of the sh Shrine of Christ the King here in the south side of Chicago, stop number four. So of the seven stops, this represents the, the trial before Pilate. Now the Institute of Christ the King, I'm standing in front of the church uh, prior to the big fire that happened a few years back. There was a nine alarm fire here and the whole, the whole church caught a blaze. Uh, you should visit their website, check out, check out that story. It's just a, a unbelievable story. The Institute of Christ the King Sovereign Priests, this is, this is their home here. This is the U United States headquarters. They're a wonderful order of priests. They do only the Latin Mass and do a wonderful job. This is, if you come to Chicago, this is another one to put on your bucket list to pray the Mass over here. Windy day today, windy day. But um, since the church was burnt down, they've been doing Masses right behind me over here. Uh, that's the rectory, but on, in the basement, they have, they converted that to a small chapel, they call it St. Joseph's Crib. And they have the, the masses there, which I frequent as well.
Well, it's night now, and we are coming up to stop number five. So stop number five, this would be of the seven stops representing the trial before Herod. And this is St. Joseph here in Rockdale, Illinois. St. Joseph is the uh, FSSP church here in uh, Chicagoland area. That's a fraternal society of St. Peter. And for those of you who don't know, they do only the traditional Latin Mass. They uh, are another wonderful order of priests. And uh, looks like they're doing some work, some construction in the front here. Stop number five. St. Joseph's. All right, so now we are at stop number six. This is Holy Angels Church in Aurora. And they also have the traditional Latin Mass. This is stop number six, which represents in our seven stops the moment when Christ went from Herod back to Pilate. All right, and so now we have wind, or winding it up here. The seventh, the last stop tonight is here at St. Peter and Paul Church in Naperville. And um, don't know exactly how old this church is, but it's definitely one of the older ones. And I know that because it is ad orientum. The altar, your face is, you're facing east. And uh, over here, this is a diocesan church, but the uh, FSSP, the Fraternal Society of St. Peter Priests, they come here from Rockdale and do a traditional Latin Mass every Sunday. So this is stop number seven of the seven stops that would represent uh, Christ going from Pilate to Golgotha. So this would be Calvary. And this is the seventh and final stop of the evening. So that's the conclusion of the uh, Iglesia Visitas, seven visits to churches that uh, offer the traditional Latin Mass. Now, we could have went to more because there's we didn't go to one in Volo. That's a canon's regular St. John Cantus over there. We didn't go to, there's one in Oak Park. Uh, there's one up in uh, Skokie. That's three others that would have made 10. Uh, and also within an hour though, it's, it's, it's across the border, but it's still within the hour. There's uh, in Indiana and uh, yeah, there's, oh, and then there's also in, in Rockford. The Institute of Christ the King also has an oratorio in Rockford. That's 11. So that's 11 masses that, that's available here in the Chicagoland area for me within within about an hour's drive and, and some of them are much closer than that but so you know when you when you think about <laughs> all the crazy stuff here in Chicago the politics and everything else and uh, it's it's more or less kind of like a Gomorrah by the lake one has to look at the silver lining on that and that definitely is a silver lining you got you got 11 churches and there's I think there's a few more that I don't know of but uh, there's probably a, a few more that I missed not to mention uh, Milwaukee which is a uh, an hour and a half that's uh, that's another one that's not too far so we're, we're pretty blessed up here and uh, I really feel for a lot of you who I've seen comments who don't have a the Latin mass the nearest one is like three hours or you just don't have it and uh, so we got to pray, keep praying that uh, Holy Mother Church returns back to her roots 
and that this whole big experiment with the new mass somehow uh, makes way back to to uh, connecting to the our Catholic roots through the liturgy through the ancient mass so hope uh, you had a great Holy Thursday have a blessed Good Friday tomorrow and more and, and have a very blessed and, and wonderful Easter although it's going to be a bitter sweet Easter you know what I mean okay God bless you hey this is Rex if you like this video please give me a thumbs up hit the like button and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button too so you get notified on future episodes so until next time God bless you